It's like he wound up being Scooby Doo because he had that, you know, one of the Scooby snacks and he had that kind of, you know, wheezy laugh. But I want to promote, I, I, I'm actually thinking about pitching a show to uh, Adult Swim that's called, uh, uh, you know, The Sensuous World of uh, Quick Draw <laughs> Put him in a smoking jacket. <laughs> Okay, now most of these characters, well, okay, well, they were to win. That man was one of my mentors. I grew up in San Diego. He lived in San Diego. His name was Gene Hazelton. And by some odd coincidence, it had nothing to do with me loving the Flintstones, but he had worked for MGM and Hanna Barbera. He designed Pebbles and Bam Bam. Dan is on. I hate those characters. But um, uh, they look like mutants or heads or like, like they can't hold them up. Um, <laughs> but uh, he did the Flintstones and Yogi Bear comic strip, and he would invite me over to his house uh, whenever I could get over there, and he'd just let me sit there and watch him draw, and then he'd give me like his rough drawings to take home and study. Mm -hmm. And Gene was the guy that back at MGM was so popular. You know, they'd have different units. One would be making Tom and Jerry, one would be making Barney Bears, one would be making maybe some the Tex Avery stuff. He was never assigned to a particular unit. He just kind of floated around because he was such a good designer. In fact, at, at Warner Brothers, he designed the notorious Coal Black and D7 War. <laughs> so I didn't think that would be a good idea. Uh, this, is, this is Gene's work uh, for comics on the Yogi Sundays. I only put the Sundays to say, well, I put a few days here, I guess. But Look at that beautiful design work. I mean, he didn't draw these characters like they were out of a cheap cartoon. That's what I love. He made these guys have, have to be flexible and appealing looking, and they were never drawn looking what we call an animation off model, where somebody suddenly looks like they were hit by the bus or something, <laughs> and their whole face is forked out. I mean, you know, beautiful perspective. Uh, I love the, the silhouetting of the characters. Or in that case there, he opened up the panel so it doesn't close in on it, just let that balloon float. I mean, this guy, again, he was the guy that at Western Publishing, he did a lot of comic books there. He did comic things back in the 30s, but he, he was best known probably for drawing Tom and Jerry. So he just drew these characters as though they were uh, Tom and Jerry. And, uh... I don't think he drew this one, I think, but I know that he essentially wrote them all and laid them out and then sometimes hired other people to do the finishing. This one, I think he did the whole thing on it very early, too. It's sort of the first. This, one, this came out in the first season. In fact, look, he didn't even uh, think he had a on the Fred's uh, health. <laughs> uh, all right, this is Harvey Eisenberg. Harvey Eisenberg is the was the father of one of my best friends who's now about 80 years old, a guy named Jerry Eisenberg, who designed a lot of Hanna-Barbera characters too. But uh, Harvey was, again, really, really good. Um, this was the very first Flintstones comic. And this was the very last Flintstones comic that he drew. He died in 65. But, again, he drew these characters with... with the key with these kind of characters is appeal. They've got to look good. When, when, when this publisher lost the rights, they went to a really cheap, crappy little company called, no, nah, it'll impair my talking, um, <coughs> called Charlton Comics. And Charlton <laughs> Comics was, comics were started by the mob, but Charlton was pretty apparently owned by the mob. <laughs> and. Uh, they got the, they got it and got these characters just look horrible and they had no appeal at all and even though they were selling okay here uh, the studio uh, signed us up with Marvel because the foreign publishers wouldn't even reprint the stuff that uh, Charles was doing because it was too old. So here you go. Quick Draw McGraw is probably the best cartoon that ever came out of Hanover. Very funny. Uh, oh, here we are the rest of ready again. You'll have to forgive Michael. He had to do this at light speed. <laughs> um, oh, this, this is another uh, Eisenberg cover, but the interesting thing about this to me is that they always made sure that he got to draw the first couple of issues of any new comic like this, so that whoever else they get to do would have his stuff as an example to follow. 
And they didn't really have anybody that was bad. But some people were better, so they got, you know, the better you were, the more